course, they love the llamas. Alright, what is up? Um, Lord Kulu, fucking tutorials, bullshit, whatever. Doing Twixter, obviously. Um, probably saw the fucking title shit before this. Who knows? Um, Alright, so first things first, finding the right clip. So, for finding the right clip, basically what you want to do is you want to find clips with solid and fluid motion, like slower. So, as you can see from here, there's not much movement going on in the clip, and uh, this would be considered like a good clip for it. And um, this over here would obviously be considered a bad clip due to the massive amounts of movement. So this is how to get basically non laggy Twix and you know all that bullshit. All right, so first things first is you want to up your velocity depending on the clip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. So my guess for this is about 300 start off. And what you're looking for basically is each frame you want to see movement. If there's no movement between the frames, then you're going to have laggy twigs, which is going to look awful. So 300 was a good pick for this one. So I'm just going to take my twigs down here. And um... I'll go ahead and just sauce you guys the fucking settings and okay. Alright, starting off to a great start. My computer's already fucking fried. Let me take this shit over here. I'll go ahead and let, I'll let you guys copy all these settings. I don't know, fucking pause the video, do whatever you gotta do. Y'all know you don't wanna do it yourself. Um, but yeah, once you get this up here, what you wanna focus on is the remapping, which is gonna be your speed uh, slider right here. I have mine default set to 180. I find that to be good to, good for all of my clips. If you want, you can bump it up or down a little bit. Doesn't matter. All right, so for this, I'm just gonna give you whatever I fucking usually use because who fucking cares. Oh shit. All right, so you want to enter 20 after going five. It could be four to five frames after. Go ahead and click fast fade on the first one and the second one if you don't want to do that just right click on the keyframe and you want to drag your clip drag it to wherever um so there's two types of ways you can do this you can make it just fading right out which is good for shorter clips getting the impact on the remap but also not forcing the speed at the end so there you go there's that and then I'll go ahead and show you with the remapping at the end I think that looks about good so for this what I usually do is I put a keyframe right here and what this does is make sure that the speed you enter is gonna be the last frame shown so let me just go ahead and give you an example here I go to the end of the clip and I let's say we put this to 180 again just for whatever reason, actually let's just make it 300 so you show the difference. Not that much. 250, nope, fuck me. 200, okay. So, right here you see that the speed is at 200. Now if I were to drag this keyframe to the last frame, you will see that the speed it actually dropped down to 161. And this is not going to be shown whenever you go to play the video back because the last keyframe is the one that is going to show. So, yeah, just put it one frame behind there. I'm just going to go ahead and set it to a base 180 right now just for testing. And what I do is I go two frames back and then go about halfway and then go ahead and click slow fade on this. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to a base of. 30 just so we can get that ramp to go back up to that speed I'm gonna take this I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it it doesn't necessarily depend on where you drag it it just depends on your clip so drag it how far back as ever you like it's just like the starting the speed up process so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this I'm just gonna bump it up to 197 
I just see from here. Starts to speed up. And now what I typically do is I just copy and paste attributes and um I just test out to see that it is first. Just because you can save a lot of time doing stuff like that. Especially if it's the same number of frames. Okay, so that looks pretty decent. I mean, it could be better, obviously. You can always just tweak around with the settings. Make it a sharper fade, slower fade, whatever you want, really. But, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an example of a bad Twixter clip. So, just in case there's somebody in here who like, has no fucking clue what the fuck they're doing and that they don't get why I made this reference, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste over these attributes just to save time. I'm going to keep it the same. So, this is why you shouldn't do this on clips a lot of movements. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. It just fucking looks terrible. It, you can't tell what the fuck's going on at all, so that's why I you obviously don't do that. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this fucking tutorial. I mean, I, this has no script or no fucking bullshit. I mean, you see what's happening, like you see shit's happening. Just don't be retarded. Use your fucking brain. Everything on this program is logic based, so you know don't get all your fucking balls and twist. But uh, yeah. This is my fucking tutorial. Have a good one. Fucking shooters. Wow. It's just like real life, man. What the?